Hello, demigods, monsters, and gods alike. This is the Olympus Report. Seven half-bloods shall answer the call, and one of those half-bloods was Hazel Levesque. Welcome back to a character breakdown. Hazel was born on December 17, 1928, to Marie Levesque, also known as Queen Marie, and the Roman god of the underworld, Pluto, in New Orleans, Louisiana. She has cinnamon brown hair and gold amber eyes, and is technically 91 years old, but biologically is only 15. It's kind of a long story. See, Hazel was unfortunately born with a curse. Queen Marie, her mother, really wanted to be rich, and she begged Pluto to make it so. See, Pluto is also the god of precious stones. Pluto warned Marie, but she didn't listen, so Pluto made it happen. Hazel was born with the ability to find precious stones, rubies, sapphires, gold, silver, you name it. However, they soon realized that when they sold these gems or stones that Hazel found, the buyer would suffer a horrible, tragic accident. Hazel was haunted by these situations and accidents that she caused and refused to sell any more stones and lived in fear of her curse. And because of this, Hazel and Queen Marie lived a very poor lifestyle. And even worse, she and her mother were branded as witches. Hazel was constantly ridiculed by her peers at St. Agnes Academy for Colored Children. Her only friend was Sammy Valdez, who constantly put a smile on her face, and she harbored just a little bit of a crush on him. Despite being poor and only having one friend, Hazel was happy in New Orleans. She really enjoyed her life. However, things soon took a turn for the worse. Queen Marie, desperate to escape her poor lifestyle, was easily manipulated by Gia. She was convinced to move her and Hazel to Alaska, despite Pluto's warning that Alaska is the land beyond the gods and he wouldn't be able to help them there. Hazel lost her home, belongings, Sammy, and eventually her life. In Alaska, Hazel was tasked to raise the giant Alcinius in an effort to protect her mother from Gia. However, before the giant was fully raised, Marie, Hazel's mother, came to her senses and both Hazel and Marie sacrificed themselves to stop Alcinius from fully rising. Hazel collapsed the cave around them, burying not only Alcinius, but themselves in the process. In the underworld, being a daughter of Pluto, Hazel was offered Elysium, but decided to take Asphodel instead in exchange for her mother not going to the fields of punishment. However, unlike most souls in Asphodel, Hazel was able to retain her memories and sense of self, something that will eventually attract the attention of her half-brother, Nico D'Angelo, nearly 70 years later, where he, thanks to the doors of death being open, was able to resurrect Hazel from the dead. He then brought her to Camp Jupiter, where she joined the fifth cohort and would eventually become a key member in the Prophecy of Seven. At Camp Jupiter, she also meets Frank Zhang, her future boyfriend and a descendant of Poseidon that will eventually wash away her curse. On her quest to defeat Gia, Hazel will meet Leo Valdez, one of the other seven chosen demigods and the descendant of Sammy Valdez. She forms a close friendship with Leo and discovers that Sammy never gave up hope on her. Hazel would then go on to defeat Gia with the other six demigods, and once again pops up in the trials of Apollo and helps Apollo in his quest to attain godhood once again. Hazel eventually becomes a probatio of the fifth cohort, after the trials of Apollo, the tyrant's tomb. Hazel has a wide variety of abilities and weapons that she utilizes. Hazel primarily fights with her imperial gold Spatha, which is even more deadly when used on her horse, Orion. Orion is an immortal horse that she actually met first in Alaska and would later discover on her quest with Percy. Orion is super strong and super fast, and also happens to have an appetite for gold and silver, which is a match made in the underworld for Hazel. Hazel has perfect bearings underground, kinda like Percy has perfect bearings on the water. 
She can easily sense everything going on around her and locate entrances and ways out of underground caverns. She can even control the earth and collapse caves as well, something that was seen in Alaska and also in the Trials of Apollo series. As stated before, Hazel has a gift with precious stones and metals. She can sense where they are underground and summon them to her. And Hazel would eventually overcome her curse and learn to control this ability and not live in fear of it anymore. But Hazel's most deadly ability is her ability to manipulate the mist, which was key in navigating the House of Hades and what I believe to be her hero moment, the moment she stepped up and became a valuable member of the team. Using the mist, she was able to lead her and Leo through the House of Hades and to the Doors of Death in time to rescue Percy and Annabeth. She was able to break out of Persephone's illusion of the recreated labyrinth and use the mist to trick Persephone into falling into a bottomless pit that actually didn't exist. She was able to keep Leo safely protected in the mist while she and Hectate battled Clytius. She was able to overcome Clytius' taunts, destroy him, free the doors of death, and rescue all her friends. With broken ribs. Using the mist, she was able to trick her enemies into believing certain things were there that actually wasn't. A truly deadly weapon, and even the goddess of magic, Hectate herself, was truly impressed by her prowess. In this moment, Hazel had to fully believe in herself and think fast. And I truly believe that without Hazel, every other member of the seven demigods including Nico, would have died and the doors of death would have remained open. Even though Hazel had learned to use the mist a little bit before, this is the moment where she becomes one of the great. I sure as heck wouldn't want to mess with Hazel Levesque. Well, that's all I have for you this week, Half-Bloods. Did I leave out anything important about Hazel? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, until next time, please stay safe.